Okay, so could you briefly introduce yourself and your company, please? Yes, I'm Michele Grassi, I'm the CEO of Forti South Energy. We develop wave energy converters in various sizes and power ratings. And could you describe your technology and what makes it different from other wave energy converters? Our machines are based on a different approach to wave energy. They are completely submerged, out of sight, out of reach and in a location which uh, reduces significantly the risk of collision with boats and their uh, capability of moving in the water column and getting away from the energy when it's too much gives them a very strong resistance to even extreme weather events. And um, what stage of development is your technology at? Are you currently looking at implementing arrays? Yes, we are uh, fully commercial. We have already several clients. We are starting deployments of the first installations. Some are single units, some are in array. And what sort of uh, capacity arrays and how many units um, might they be? So, in some cases, the array is made of three units of 150 kilowatts each. In another case, there, are, there is an array of two units, each one rated at two megawatts, so it varies significantly. And does that just vary um, depending on the project site or are there other considerations? It depends there? on the site and also on the client requirements. Okay, and um, what were the main challenges uh, in reaching that in that stage? Um, was it investment or testing or Finding suitable sites? All of the above. Oh. <laughs> okay, anyone in particular? No? No, no, I think they all have their share of, of uh, difficulty in the, in the process. Okay. And in the development of your technology, was there any one area that stood out um, that required significantly more capital expenditure than others? You know, was it uh, the installation or cabling? Yes. Or? Resistance to the water environment is one of the parts which actually caused most significant expense. So is that um, on the maintenance side of things? Is that on the materials. The materials, I yes. see. Okay, and um, how have you managed to reduce these costs? Well, that's <laughs> confidential. <laughs> okay. And what about the uh, operation and uh, maintenance? Um, how big a consideration is the, the annual O&M cost when compared with um, the initial investment, the initial setup? Okay. So in marine energy, O&M is really what makes or breaks the project. So the design of the machines is focused on reducing as much as possible the impact on O&M. In our case, we, depending on the site, the O&M cost can vary between 2 and 4% of the initial capex annually, which is a, reason, a reasonable level. And um, what might the initial site original cost be? Are you able to give any, any indication of what a project cost might be? Well, a single machine will cost depending on the size. The very small machines have a cost which is uh, 3 euros per nominal watt of power. The large machines have two euros per nominal watt per power. So a two megawatt machine will cost four million euros. And then you have to add on top of that between 10 and 20% of cost for the site development. And uh, lastly, what was your motivation for attending the event today? Well, I think it's the premier event for uh, energy globally. So that's why we're here. Excellent, thank you very much. Thank you.